Data of every description will pervade our consciousness. Holograms projected beneath our eyelids. Direct retinal stimulation. Welcome to the DCC Museum. Hi, and welcome back at the museum. I'm standing in front of the display that holds all of our boxed items. Like we've mentioned in previous videos before, we like to have two of each player, one on display and one originally in box, preferably not opened. Today, we're gonna to talk about one of the few that we haven't discussed, the Panasonic RQ DR9 Portable. So the inbox Panasonic RQ DR9 was only made in Japan and in eight years of collecting on behalf of the DCC Museum, we've only seen this twice in box and maybe half a dozen times for sale in general. It's based on the DCC 170, originally designed by Marantz and of course produced exclusively for Philips and Panasonic. So, Everything in here is original. We have restored it like shown in previous videos. So we've replaced the belt. In here are the Japanese warranty card. Cards. I don't think it makes much sense in sending them in, but it's cool to have anyway. The various connection cables for line in and line out and also since it has a digital out a cable for that the manual of course completely in Japanese but like I said all based on the 170. All functions are the same. Power adapter, 100 volts. Also cool because this was rebranded for Panasonic. All the other ones are Philips. This is the headphones with the remote. It had a wired remote. All Second generation portables have that. Here are the headphones, that is the wired remote. And then this is sort of like the rarest item as no batteries are allowed to be shipped from Japan to the United States, at least not legally. So we have two of those. We have two players, one on display, one in box, and both of them have a restored Panasonic battery. It's the same again, like the 170. This one says Panasonic, the other one says Philips. Here, the original pouch, it's never been opened, but you can clearly see the problem that all of them have being 30 years old. The material starts deteriorating. Some of them are in reasonably good condition. This obviously isn't. It starts rubbing off the plastic. I can only imagine how this is going to look on the inside, but never opened. And then in here, that was sort of like a niche where they put one recordable DCC. And then of course, the player. They always came in pouches like this. And here it is. It is the same shape and size like the 170. Like I said before, there are some differences which I'm gonna show you in this video as well. I like the sleekness of this because this rubber part that the 170 has here as well, it's lacking this, but really cool. New player can always be recognized by the fact it has, still has the cardboard inside saying remove before use. And of course, the unique serial number not starting with MZ, which stands for Marantz. Panasonic had their own way of 
creating serial numbers. So let's put it on the bench. So we have various outputs and inputs that can be used either through analog or digital. This is optical in, microphone in, but also RCA line in, depending on the cable. And here the same way for line out or optical slash digital out. Really cool uh, unit, I prefer this, one of my favorite portables, very rare. Hope you enjoyed this video, see you next time.